days and one of the great sponsors to make this day happen, Lucy Jams. I guess it's not really unusual that I was asked to do this, but the circumstances certainly were. Ed Cosman and Carolyn Gaines called me and I had to go meet with them and they said they wanted me to help them with this Wade statue project. Well, my mom was still alive and I didn't get into her business. And uh, Ed and Carolyn had not talked to my mama. So I kind of tiptoed over there and I told her that I'd been meeting with them and they had asked me if I would help. And she looked at me and with her little velvet sledgehammer personality said, I want that statue done. So I said, yes, ma'am. And that's how I got involved with it. Those of you who knew my mom and my dad, especially my mom, her relationship with Coach Wade went back to when she was a little girl. And eventually she got to Cleveland High School. And she had Coach Wade for a teacher. She had Coach Wade for her basketball coach. Mom was on that nifty team that went to the state championship three years in a row and lost the state championship three years by a total of four points. Coach Wade didn't get to those glory days until she got Wanda and Ramon and Debbie and all them. But they really did have good basketball back at Cleveland High School then. <coughs> Coach Wade was a mentor to my mama and eventually probably like my mom's second mom after her mother had passed away. If Coach Wade, Wade wanted anything, mom was there to take care of it for her. And so when the basketball program started, Mama jumped right in there with Daddy, and they did everything they could to help Dr. Lucas and Coach Wade and the girls accomplish what they wanted to accomplish and have some really good times while they were doing it. I appreciate Dr. Lucas mentioning the recruiter, Melvin Hemphill. So I inherited this interest in basketball, not just through Mom and Dad, but Hemp is my uncle, in case y'all don't know that. So I was real proud of his recruiting abilities and uh, listened to him tell the stories about him going all over the place, all over the state of Mississippi and finding us the best players that we could have. Another thing I have in common with my mom and Coach Wade is that I'm a Kappa Delta. Mama and Coach Wade were initiated into the chapter here when it was formed in 1962. They were honorary initiates. So when I went out to Russia in 1974, what kind of options do you think I had? <laughs> so I pledged KD and became initiated, and she was our faculty advisor, Coach Wade was, and very helpful to us. Between she and Miss Brumby, we kind of towed the line pretty good, as much we could with those two looking over our shoulders. The open motto of Kappa Delta Sorority Takaladiokaman translate into English, let us strive for that which is honorable, beautiful, and highest. Coach Wade comes to my mind when I think about that. My mom think, comes to my mind when I think about that. So through my association with Coach Wade, it's, it's really been something for me to look up to. And so when Ed and Carolyn asked me to do this, and my mama told me to do this, it's been quite a pleasure. One little story I'd like to tell you about our committee. Langston, you'll appreciate this after what you and Stan did in New York and Delaware. Y'all remember that? They overshot New York and went to Delaware on the train. <laughs> we were, uh, Ed and Carolyn and Keith Fulcher and I went to Corinth. We wanted to go call on Corinne Williford who played on the CHS basketball team with my mom to see if Corinne would be interested in making a donation. So we're riding to Corinth, Keith's driving Ed's car, Ed's sitting in the front, Carolyn and I are in the back. Keith and Ed are talking 90 to nothing about who knows what, and Carolyn and I are talking and kind of making plans and strategy of who else we were gonna go ask for money for. I looked up, Keith and Ed just talking, and I said, hey guys, I hate to interrupt you, 
but we're down there in Tennessee. You've overshot current. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to turn around and go back. But that was fun, and uh, Corinne is very helpful to us on this project. She has a lot of memorabilia that she's going to share with the university. And for those of you that played basketball at Cleveland High School, Corinne has the whip. So it will be on display when we get all that information and all those things together as we expand the legacy of Coach Wade. Before I sit down, I would like for Carolyn and Ed to come up if they would, please. 